striped hyena, and that is its next, I would say that is the next iteration in size of the hyena, the brown hyena, hyena brunea. It looks like a big old beefy striped hyena. It looks just like a striped hyena that got fed a lot more and was given a very lovely cloak of brown fur. They live in southern Africa. I've encountered one at the Mahola Hall Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. It was, it was a wild animal that was a uh, rogue. I mean, it lived outside the park and fenced areas and it was causing grief to cattle ranchers. Therefore, it was darted and put in that facility for quarantine, unfortunately. But uh, the people that have had to work with brown hyenas say that when they give them bones, they don't find no more bones. They eat everything. And they're a big problem because they come into conflict with uh, any kind of livestock raising um, business. That's because they are just very rangy. They are very good at moving around. They have evol evolved away their thumbs just to be the four fingers, a lot less mobility in their shoulders, and a lot less mobility in their paws that they've sacrificed for uh, moving forward efficiency. Um, the teeth more derived, I mean, if we can compare it to the, to the striped hyena, you can note the difference. The, the, the brown is very morphologically similar, except that it's just thicker. Its zygomatic arch is a lot, is a lot wider, is a lot deeper. The insertion of the zygomaticus is a lot thicker. The bone deposit is a lot thicker. There's a lot of bone structure around the sagittal crest um, on top of the sinuses. You could see the sutures of the frontal bone and the, uh, and, the, um, and the maxilla and the nasals, note the nasals, note how thin they are, is very much rugose. It's very much, there's a lot of deposit of bone there so that it can be reinforced. Because the, the maxilla is, the, is, is basically the tooth holding um, bone. Note the palate of your mouth, which is so satisfyingly round and smooth. Well, if you're gonna have things that are very hard in there and you're gonna crunch through them, you're gonna have a very strong palate. And this palate is very much concave. It still has that diminutive little tiny uh, molar. Again, they have those carnassials, which actually, like, look at the wear pattern on this carnassial versus the inner wear pattern of and a hyena manages to wear them down by doing a slice of the carnassials to cutting meat, but then the crunch and render bone with the premolars.